Today, we'll show you how to find and fix broken links in WordPress so you can provide your visitors with a better user experience and improve your SEO. Be sure to check out the links we've left in the description, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and be part of the conversation. So here's what's coming up in this video. First, we're going to show you how to find 404s with Monster Insights, and then we'll look at how to find them in Google Analytics, and then we're going to show you how to create 404 redirects with all-in-one SEO. So let's get right to it. There can be several reasons for 404 errors on your site. Could be that the URL was entered incorrectly, the web page might have been moved, and a redirection wasn't correctly created, or it might be that the web page URL is changed or deleted, or the website is closed down and it's not available, or a server malfunction. Not only do 404 errors create a bad user experience, but they can negatively impact your site's SEO. Even if those 404 pages are those that you've intentionally deleted, they're still being indexed, and that means they're in Google's database. And that means they're going to show up in search engine results, and they're going to return a 404 error if someone clicks on them. When it comes to tracking your broken links in Google Analytics, you have two options. You can use a WordPress plugin like Monster Insights. It automatically tags 404 pages for you, so you don't have to make additional configurations. Or you can manually create a custom report in Google Analytics. By far, that's the most complicated because you're going to have to understand how Google's advanced filters work. First, we'll look at using a plugin to track down those broken links. Monster Insights is by far the best and easiest WordPress plugin for Google Analytics. It allows you to set up analytics on your site without editing code, and it automatically sets up advanced tracking like e-commerce tracking, file download tracking, form tracking, and a lot more. To get started tracking your 404 errors, all you have to do is simply install and activate Monster Insights and connect it with Google Analytics. If you need help getting it set up, be sure to visit the link in the description below. And that's it. Monster Insights is now going to start tracking all of your broken links. Now, to find those 404 errors, all you need to do is log into your Google Analytics account and then go to Behavior. And then go to Site Content. And finally, Content Drill Down. Now, once you're there, look for 404.html. In most cases, your URLs are going to look like this. This URL is structured to give you clues about the error and how to fix it. So in our example, the 404 error is the HTTP example.com error page URL slug. And the error URL is linked from the page that comes after the at from and the equal sign. So looking at example, the error page was linked from HTTP example.com forward slash page. Now, here's how to create a custom report in Google Analytics, which, as you'll see, is a bit more complicated. And you'll need to have an exact title for your broken link pages. If you don't, Google Analytics might have difficulty tracking your 404 errors. To begin, you'll need to go to your Google Analytics account and then navigate to Customization. And then Reports. Next, click on the plus New Custom Report. Now, you'll have to give a name to your report, like Broken Link Report and then enter the following settings. You want to change the type to flat table. For dimensions, add landing page and then full referrer. For metrics, search and add entrances. Then in the filters, click add filter and select page title. Make sure that the first drop down is set to include and the next is set to exact. Enter the exact title of your broken link, such as page not found or 404.html. Select all views associated with this account under Views. Click Save when you're done. So you can use this info to go to the broken link source page, and you'll want to look for additional characters or typos in your URL so you can fix them. All right, now let's look how to create 404 redirects using all-in-one SEO. When you set up redirects correctly, they'll happen instantly so your visitors won't even notice that they've been redirected to a different page, and you won't lose the ranking that you've gained for your old content. To get started, you'll first need to purchase an all-in-one SEO Pro or Elite license, then download and install the plugin. For detailed instructions on how to do that, just see the link in the description for our guide on installing all-in-one SEO. Now, once you've installed and activated the plugin, you'll need to enable redirects to your website. You can do that by simply going to Redirects in the All-in-One SEO menu, then click on the Activate Redirects button. Next, you'll need to enable your 404 log, so head over to Redirects and the Settings tab. Now scroll down until you see the Logs section. 
To start logging your 404 errors, click on the 404 log toggle so it turns to blue. All right, next you'll want to set how long the logs are kept. You can do that by clicking on the drop down menu to the right of the 404 logs toggle and then choosing the time frame. Now that you've set up logging, you can easily view or delete your logs. To view your logs, simply click on the 404 logs tab and then you'll see a list of your URLs with 404 errors. In the URL column, you'll see the 404 pages that people have visited. And in the Hits column, you'll see how many times they've been visited and the date the URL was last visited in the Last Access column. Now to view the log details, simply click on the Additional Info icon in the right menu. If you'd like to delete your log entries, just click on the Delete or Trash Can icon. And if you'd like to clear or delete all of the 404 logs, then just go to Tools and then click on the Database Tools tab. In the Logs section, you'll see an area with 404 logs. So just click on the Clear 404 Logs button, and it'll clear all the 404 logs. Now to fix your 404 errors and redirect them to another page, just click on the Add Redirect link. This displays a simple form where you will add your target URL, that's where you want the URL to be redirected, and the redirect type that you wish to use. The most common redirection type is 301 Move Permanently. If it's just a temporary redirect, then you can use a 307 temporary redirect instead. Just click on the drop-down menu to choose your redirect type. Now, if you'd like more information, just visit the link in the description to a step-by-step -step guide on adding 301 redirects in WordPress. And that's it. Now, you don't want to miss the opportunity to get a special discount on Monster Insights, so be sure to check out the link in the description. And to learn more Monster Insights tips, tricks, and techniques, just click on one of the videos on your screen now.